Yeah, g'day guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna, well I actually just went out and brought the, the new Kick-Ass 22 amp lithium battery charger, smart charger. So this is the big boy here. So I've the pre, I had the previous generation, um, well that new one's a nine stage. And I've got the uh, old eight stage charger. So I've had that for probably a good four years I reckon. Um, hasn't missed a beat. So, of course you've seen on the previous episode I've actually upgraded, well not upgraded, but I've got the kick-ass battery box for the back of the cruiser. And I thought this thing did lithium, but um, she's a bit ancient, this, this old machine, so she doesn't do uh, lithium anymore, so I'm not going to throw it away. It's going to be, it'll definitely come in here, so I've still got a lot of AGM batteries around here. I've got a spare one I carry around on the motorbike there just in case I need it, and other bits and pieces like old car, the older cars, and um, batteries for everything else. So I thought I might just quickly do a, a real quick comparison uh, between the two. So obviously eight stage, nine stage for the uh, the new one. So they're the uh, alligator clips on the older version, and these are the alligator clips on the newer version. So hopefully you can sort of see that. So they definitely got chunkier. And the uh, the wiring has definitely got larger as well, so good good thing from Kickass. So everything's all everything's exactly the same. So obviously you joiners, all Anderson to Anderson. Good connection. We're not gonna have a drama with that. So the newer ones, um, obviously they've got the AGM, your acid, and uh, cell sort of stuff. But being the newer one, you've got your uh, your lithium. Uh, smart charger. So 22 amps. As I said before, the old one was a 20 amp. I think there was a large one back in the day for the older style one, but they've discontinued that. So that's going to be hooked onto that very, very soon. And we're going to give it a charge. So I've just jumped on my, on the uh, phone, on the app, and the, uh, the battery's at, sitting at about 23%. So, so the new charger is, well, it's actually can be mounted um, on the back end of, in a canopy, on a board. So obviously you've got these four screws here, and it also can be hung up uh, via the uh, little metal piece at the back, and they can also be hung in a ute. So, but one thing to think of is when you're going to install this, is it's got fans here. So one side sucks the hot, the cool air in, and the other end pushes the hot air out just to keep the uh, the unit cool and run it at it optim optimize, yeah. Running at its best. I'll, I'll just say that. I'm not going to try and do the, any big words because I just can't do it. Right, so we'll just power it on. And uh, we are going. So, a few little things on there. Pretty simple. Got your power, your charge and fault. And so, if we go through our modes, they're obviously flashing on there at the moment. Hopefully, it's a bit easier to see. So, it's got a fast lithium charge. And if we change our modes, we've got a slow... Well, when I first looked at it, STD, I thought, oh, geez, that doesn't sound good. But STD is a, uh, it's for your sealed and flooded batteries to charge. So it's a slow charge for that. Obviously a fast one, the AGM fast charge, and then obviously back to your lithium. So, so your slow or standard charge or STD mode so it puts out a max 4 amps, and if you flick it over to the uh, the fast, obviously that'll throw out your, your full 22 amps, and if you go to your AGM, that's going to give you your full 20, 22 amps, and it's also got a, uh, a recondition mode for an AGM battery as well, um, and also has a, a slow or a night mode for your AGM so the, uh, the lithium's got a battery management system in it. So obviously when it uh, gets below a certain what it'll disconnect the actual terminals from inside the battery. It just It's only just to protect the battery. So, so that lithium reconnect mode or reactivation mode can be acts. So obviously you turn, turn the thing on and within 10 seconds, get into your, your modes. And all you gotta do is hold down the, uh, the mode button. So you hold it down for a few seconds and it'll activate the, uh, obviously the, the mode or the lithium activation mode. Chuck it on your lithium battery and then that'll 
kick started or kick in the guts and say oi. And the same thing again, if you want to get it out of the activation mode, again just hold down the mode button for about four or five seconds and you'll just go back to your standard um, charging modes. Right, I see you'll go and hook these up. So I don't even think you can get this wrong. So they've actually made it so you, you definitely can't get it wrong. So if you don't put the positive on the positive and you stuff it up, it should come up on the uh, charger as an error. So you can't bugger that up. So if you're someone who's not 100% sure what they're doing and you see that, because you've done that, then all you've got to do is take it off and start again. So we'll just turn them around, we'll put them on the right way and connect them all up. Right, so it's just, just starting to charge. So it's telling me we're at 13.1 volt and we're charging. So obviously you can hear that fan. So obviously these charges are gonna be loud. And to me, that's gonna annoy the crap out of me if I'm laying in bed at night. I'm trying to get, trying to get some sleep and that fan's going while it's charging with batteries. So they've come up with an idea all you need to do for quiet mode is again just hold the mode button down for four seconds so it's still charging but instead of pumping out the uh, 22 amps it drops down to 5 amps so it's still giving a trickle charge and you're going to get a good night's sleep and obviously when you wake up in the morning still not charged We'll just hold our mode button down and we'll go back to our 22 amps and I'll have the uh, the big fan cooling us away. So I'm not too sure how long that's going to take to charge, but as I said on my phone when I looked at it before, I'll just go into the the app. So if you haven't downloaded the kick ass app, download the kick ass app, it'll be super simple. So it's telling me. We're at 27%. So current is uh, 7.1 amps. The volt is 13.23 volts charging and the battery temperature is 26.4 degrees at the moment. So it's telling me time to full is gonna take roughly 12 hours, 24 minutes. So uh, definitely something that you want so I've just quickly realised, so before when I was talking about how I was only punching out 7 amps, I'm thinking, well, unless it's going through a cycle, but I actually checked on the uh, the charger itself and I actually had it in slow mode, so now it is on uh, bunny rabbit mode going flat out and uh, we're sitting on 21.54 amps and uh, we'll be fully charged in 4 hours and 2 minutes instead of uh, 12 hours and 40 minutes or whatever it was. So just double check that. Um, yeah, easy to miss. They all those little uh, rabbit and the turtle nearly look the same. So anyway guys, hope you got a little bit out of that one. If you did, awesome. If you didn't, awesome again. If you want to know anything about it that I have, that I've, that I've probably missed, I probably have missed something. Just uh, drop a comment down in the comments section below or if you don't want to put it there, just hit us up on our Facebook page. And I'll, uh, I'll get back in as soon as I can. So, so far, so good. Anyway, I'll uh, see you in the next one. Cheers.